Hi, I'm Sam from EVs Enhanced, and today I'll be running you through upgrading the HV battery on an early model Nissan Leaf. Here we have a 2012 Nissan Leaf that's got a heavily degraded HV battery that's only showing 8 bars, which is no longer usable for its daily commute. As we can see using Leaf Spy Pro, the state of health of this pack has dropped down to 65%, significantly reducing the usable range of the car. The vehicle itself is still in fantastic condition, so today we are going to breathe new life into this Leaf by fitting it with a late model 12 bar 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. Let's begin by getting this Leaf into the workshop. The replacement 30 kilowatt hour pack we will be installing has been donated from a wrecked late model 2017 LEAF. Using our own custom OBD2 to LEAF battery adapter, we can connect to the lithium battery controller inside the pack to check its state of health prior to fitting it to the vehicle. We can see using LEAF Spy Pro that this replacement pack is currently sitting at 94.7%, making it a healthy 12 bar pack, perfect for our upgrade. To maintain the condition of the battery pack being removed from the leaf, it has been discharged to 50% state of charge ready for storage. Before we lift the vehicle on the hoist, we first need to disconnect the 12 volt battery as well as the high voltage safety switch. This switch is accessed via a panel on the floor and behind the front seats. With the power disconnected, we are now ready to lift the vehicle on the hoist. To remove the old high voltage battery pack, we first need to remove the protective under trays. With the under trays removed, we can now disconnect the communications connector followed by the high voltage connector. All that is left to do now is unbolt the high voltage battery pack and remove it from the vehicle. This battery pack, while no longer very desirable for use in a vehicle, will now go on to a second life being used within a stationary storage solution. Now it's time to fit our replacement pack. As the Gen 1 Leaf was never released with a battery pack this capacity, we will need to make a few minor changes to make this possible. While the replacement pack shares the same physical dimensions as the original, there are subtle differences to the mounting points at the rear of the vehicle. We have followed Nissan's recommended procedure and slotted these holes here to suit the replacement pack. At the front of our replacement pack, you will see there is a connector that is not found on our original pack. This connector is a high voltage supply for the PTC heater found in later model Leafs. As this is not used in our Leaf, a blanking connector is required. This blanking connector has a detection signal wire loop which is necessary for the pack to run. 
Another key physical difference between these packs is the communications connector. More importantly, the way these two packs communicate with the vehicle is also completely different. We will be discussing our solution to both of these problems later on in this video. This brings us to the most interesting device we'll be using today for our upgrade, the EV's Enhanced HV Battery Translator. This unit sits in between the battery pack and the vehicle, allowing all systems to run happily and error-free as if the original battery pack was fitted. The translator kit is available in several configurations. Today, we will be using the full loom kit. This includes the translator module, mounting bracket, fasteners, and full loom to allow for simple plug and play installation. to lower the vehicle off the hoist. With the leaf back on the ground, 
We can now reattach the high voltage safety connector. And reconnect the 12 volt battery. We are almost done with our upgrade. While the vehicle does start in ready mode, you can see on the dash the EV system warning lamp is lit up. Also on Leaf Spy, you can see the P3102 code. This error indicates that the vehicle control module no longer recognises the original fitted battery pack. In this state, the vehicle performance will be heavily restricted. So for our final step, we will be turning to another EV's enhanced specialist tool, our HV battery pairing tool. This device pairs the new battery pack to the vehicle control module via the OBD2 port using a single press of a button. Once the battery has been paired, the EV system warning lamp is no longer lit and a refresh of Leaf Spy Pro will show that the P3102 error has been eliminated. To learn more about this tool, check out the link in the description below. This Gen 1 LEAF, with an enhanced range extending much further than it did when it left the factory, is ready for many more years of fun and reliable service. All battery upgrades performed at EV's Enhanced Service Centre are fully capacity tested with warranties on all workmanship and parts. We really appreciate your time, so thanks for watching, and for more information, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and at our home on the web, evsenhanced.com.